Hi everyone. I wanted to just show you what I've been working on um, for uh, a two-point perspective so you can kind of see uh, that I didn't draw a lot of lines on it, first of all. Now I'm doing a, a street scene from downtown Salinas and I did use a little bit of tape here and here and this this part here right to block off the sky so that I have this nice line with the window with the uh, building tops but you'll notice that I've I've just done shapes of color so I've just I've done uh, basically some rectangles different shape rectangles um, squares and rectangles for the buildings you can just see them all right here um, and you'll notice I'm just painting shapes of color right so I'm not painting um, the whole building at once I'm doing little different shapes of color and as you look at this you'll notice that you'll notice how things change as I go through so I'm going to add a little bit more right now and while we're while we're here and so you can kind of get an idea that it's a it's slow going process this is why you should definitely have more than one piece to work on um, at a time because you need to be able to switch back and forth okay so i'm seeing that i made a little bit of a mistake here so i'm going to try to rectify my my mistake i'm gonna see if i can um, change this up just a little bit so i can make it uh make it look more correct And you know, you guys don't stress if you make a mistake. Sometimes it just looks a little awkward. It'll make it look like your building is is you know you know uh, leaning the wrong way, kind of thing. So here I've done I've done the wrong. I've made my shape in the opposite way, which sometimes happens. So I'm going to fix it real quick. because it's not difficult to fix these things, right? And you can see that I've, I've changed my line right there so it looks more natural to how the, the buildings are. And um, I'm gonna fix this really quickly as well um, so that it goes, um, so that it matches with the back. And to do that, I'm gonna actually switch to my uh, flat brush because I wanna get in close. And the flat brush makes it easy to get a pretty nice close line going. So I'm gonna get a little bit of color mixed up here so that I can kind of get into this space. There we go. I'm just cutting it in a little bit making sure that we match. And as you can see, right, I'm, I've kind of cut in, I've got rid of a little white space that I really didn't want to have, right? And you know, sometimes you'll notice things that you've done that aren't quite right, that's fine, you can go back and fix them. Um, it is not a problem whatsoever, right? So I actually took a photograph of what I was working, of what of my spot. Um, I started by doing my sketch right live. You know, I sat down outside in downtown and I did my, my drawing. Um, and then I used that. I started out by making a crosshairs so that I could use my drawing as a reference, right? Um, but I also took a photograph. And the only lines that I drew on here um, were, were with tape, okay? I used tape. And I used a little bit of tape here to just kind of start my 
um, to make sure that I had my orientation correct, right? So that I, because everything is based off of um, these, what they, you know, they call basic units, right? So I have my basic unit to kind of measure everything else by um, and kind of check. And so when I was doing this, I did a lot of this, of, of looking at my subject with my brush uh, so I could see the angle. So if I'm looking at the angle, and you can't see what I'm looking at right now, but I'm looking at the photograph I took, right? So I, I close one on, I look at the angle of the buildings, right? And then I put that brush right down there and to make sure my angle is correct. It is correct. Now it looks pretty steep, doesn't it? But that's exactly how it looks. So, up, oh, quiet. Let me no barking, you guys. Sorry. Um, well, we'll continue this in a few minutes, probably. Um, but anyway, uh, so you see the angle, and the same with this side. Now the angle on this side is much steeper because I'm closer over on this side, so it seems like it's going steeply down, but that's really how it looks. If I look at my angle on this side of the street, and I go down here, boom, it's spot on. And I used tape to define that so I didn't have to put a bunch of pencil marks on. And I didn't put any marks on for these buildings, you guys. I looked at my drawing and I just did the shape of color that I saw. So here I did this kind of yellowish and this is kind of a white, bluish white color. A little bit, it has a little bit of a gray tone to it. Um, this over here was kind of a brownish and this, because the sun is shining on it, was yellow. Um, I'm not, I haven't put any shade in yet. There's definitely some shadows here that I'm gonna, I'm gonna place in but I'm gonna do that as a layer over what I've already done. So as I'm going through here, and I'll do another little demo with this as well so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but you notice what I've done is I've let everything dry in between, which is why I don't have stuff bleeding into each other. Um, there's a little bit of that, but not bad. So I did, you know, I did like these, all these gray rectangles, and then I went back and did these kind of reddish ones or reddish brown ones then i went back and did the yellow ones right um i painted in the little green i left this space white for the little green um stand uh stancions um and i did just want these little squares i kind of you see it there they look a little like a puzzle right because i haven't finished them all yet because i'm waiting i wait for them to dry in between okay that's the secret you've got to make sure that you wait for stuff to dry in between so that you can have a successful painting and you do not need to draw a bunch of pencil marks on your paper you just need to follow what your eye is seeing right so whatever you see is what you're going to paint and that means you're painting shapes of color and they can be organic shapes right like say a tree that's kind of organic or they can be geometric shapes, like I'm painting geometric shapes because I'm painting a lot of buildings and a plaza that has geometric shapes in it. So it's pretty easy. I'm just doing squares and rectangles and um, diamonds, basically. Um, I have a few little circles on the top of these stanchions, but they're not much. I, um, and to protect those, I have a little bit of white space I wanna protect. I'm gonna use my trusty crayon, okay? And I'm gonna protect that little bit of white space on these that need the, right, they need a little bit of where the sun is shining on them. Okay, so you can see where the reflected light is um, on these, so it looks natural, right? Okay, so we'll come back to this in a little while, I'll let that part dry, and we'll come back and do some more. <clears throat> 